How to Calculate BMI Hello and welcome to Video Jug. It's 3 a.m., which means it's time for Body Talk, your number one choice for health and medicine on City Public Access 10. Hello and welcome back to Body Talk. I'm your host, Stuart. And uh, with us today, we've got a special guest, Dr. E. Normus, and he's going to help us to understand and calculate the BMI. Hello, doctor. How are you? How are you? Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, but, but I'm really not a doctor. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, doctor, what exactly is the BMI? Uh, BMI is your body mass index. It's what real doctors use to calculate uh, the percent that your body is fat. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. Now, doctor, because it's such an important part of healthy living, I can only assume that there's some sort of dark art involved in calculating the BMI. Oh, not at all. It's uh, actually a very simple uh, math equation. You just divide your uh, weight in pounds by your height in inches uh -huh. squared and multiply that times 703. There you have it, your BMI. Couldn't I just pay someone to do it for me? Well, uh, certainly. Uh, there are plenty of BMI okay. calculators on the web. What does the BMI tell us? What, what is it for? The BMI tells us that uh, we belong to four basic groups, okay. four categories. Yeah. Uh, we're either underweight, normal, uh -huh. overweight, or obese. Uh -huh. And the, the higher the BMI number, the higher the, uh, the risk of developing either high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, heart disease, or diabetes. Fascinating. Now, doctor, if you'll indulge me, we've got a couple of guests that are about to come on the show who are going to help us understand the BMI even more. Please welcome my best friend, Paul, and my ex-girlfriend, Linda. Welcome to the show, guys. Come on down. How's it going? What's up, bro? What's up, Paul? How are you, Linda? Drop dead, you freak. Now, doctor, I was hoping that we could calculate their BMIs today. Certainly. I, I, Paul, I, I, please tell me your height and weight. I'm 5'11", and I'm 200 pounds. Well, Paul, that would make your BMI 27.9, which puts you in the overweight category. What? But it looks like you work out. You do work out, don't you, Paul? Yeah, I mean, I just blasted my pecs before I got here, so... I, I thought so. Yeah. I wouldn't consider you overweight. <laughs> the higher BMI number means that uh, your muscle mass is uh, heavier than fat. Uh, I'd say you're in great shape. So would I. Okay, all right, all right. Let's, let's do Linda next. <clears throat> let's do her. Fine. I'm 5'1", and I weigh 110 pounds. Well, Linda, that gives you the BMI of 20.8, which is a healthy, normal weight for a female. Well, thank you, doctor. <laughs> You know, he's not really a doctor, Linda. You know that, right? Let's go, Paul. Yeah. Give me a ride home. Sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. Well, we seem to have run out of time. Uh, but thank you, doctor. Thank you for coming down. You've taught us a lot about the BMI. Uh, actually, before you go, can you take a look at something? I've got a little bit of a rash, and uh, it's, it's growing, actually. Stu, you were right. I, I'm really not a doctor. Look.